Good morning everyone, welcome back to Mojo Grip Mike here. So today, I'm gonna show you something really cool. You see the aircraft behind me. You may have seen a video that I covered back in Sebring of the Revolt, okay? And even I got excited about it and I reached out to them and they told me to come on down. And so today I'm in Tampa, Florida and we're gonna spend more private time with this machine and find out all about it. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so in front of me here is the Revo from Evolution Aircraft. They're based here in Tampa, Florida. And this is what they build. Let me back up for you so you can see the whole thing. All right, the initial video I made about this, I called it bicycle on wings. And these are the wings here so you can see. And this is more of a complete package from some of the models that you may have seen. And I'll go around it with you. So let, let's just do a 360, okay? Let's just do a 360 with this then. As you can see, it is three legs, okay? Uh, it has two seats. Now, even I'm not familiar with aircrafts like this, at first glance, I thought this was an ultralight, but it's not. This is, you need a light, uh, sports pilot license to jump into this or a private pilot license. All right, so moving around here, uh, let's go to the engine bay first. The, uh, the standard for this aircraft is a Rotax 912 engine, and this particular one has a fuel injected engine. Now, if you were purchasing one or buying one today, you can have the option to have a fuel injected or the carbureted engine, uh, and then, obviously performance would, would differ based on the one you go with. So if you look, if you look at this, uh, I would call it one of the landing, landing gear here. All right, you see this right here? Normally in an aircraft, you would see something like this, and this is like your rudder uh, uh, in an aircraft or an airplane, but th these are called roll trims. And generally on trikes, you don't even have this, but on this particular model, you have this trim and it does serve a function. This generally helps the aircraft stay balanced. So say for example, you're in a straight and level flight or you are flying and you notice uh, a little diversion to the right or the left, you just hit a button in, in there because this is electronically controlled and this will help uh, get the aircraft straight and balanced. So these are really cool. All right, so let's go. Let's go around and you look at the prop here. It's a four bladed prop and it says here E prop. And these are carbon fiber, so they're really light. And this is also an option that you can get uh, with the aircraft. And then moving along, you've got another wheelbase here. Okay, let's get closer to it. This is your, your access to the fuel tank. And look there, 91 octane. So you can use auto fuel uh, to gas up this thing, which, you know, that's good news to every pilot because you get to save some money on gas. And something interesting that I found here, you see here it says idle throttle full. So generally in your typical aircraft, you have the throttle on the inter in the interior and you do have that uh, in this aircraft also. But the function of this being on the outside is, guess what? If you're just buying this and you need to train, obviously, your instructor is going to be sitting back here and the instructor is gonna have access to their own uh, power control and that's what this is for. And also, speaking about instructors, so whoever is sitting back here can also control, have controls there. So see right here, you have one pedal here and then you have another one inside there so whoever is sitting up here their feet is going all the way in and whoever is sitting back here their feet is going right there to have the same controls uh, so I think that was that was pretty uh, thoughtful for whoever designed this so actually let's go back here to the uh, to what I mentioned earlier as the fuel tank I mean the the, the access to to gas up this thing so this actually you can use it to fuel up the uh, the aircraft but it serves more as a vent uh, this is the main entryway to fuel up this thing here because it's it's a lot quicker if you try to do it through here uh, what I've been told is that it's a, it's so much more slower than just going through the main axis here so to uh, to fuel up the the machine you basically take off the uh, the seating pad and there goes your axis there um, and then right here you see a fuel gauge again this is also 
and I would say complementary to this that you see here. So there's a fuel gauge out here, and generally you can have you know the measurement or whatever on, on here. I don't know if that's an option or not. Yeah. Okay, so you do have an option. You can always have measurement uh, to help you keep track of your of how much fuel is left in the tank. But guess what? If you were to opt for a glass panel, uh, so speaking of panels, what you get is something like this. Uh, a lot of these uh, aircraft, they use the, the standard, or not the standard, the, the, the option, the main option that you have for avionics is MGL, which you see an example in front of me. And this panel here gives you just about everything you need uh, for your flight display, your engine, all of that good stuff. So instead of having to use that fuel gauge there, you can also see how much fuel you have on the screen. And we're we'll turning it on right now, if you can see that. And from what I've been told, this is also an option uh, for someone who's looking to get one of these. Uh, you can upgrade and these things also, you can get ADS-B in and out, which is required by 2020, so you might as well. And you've got your radio also. And if you look below that, you've got all your switches down here. All right, your key ignition there, uh, your circuit breakers are down below. Very simple panel, so you're not messing with a lot of things. Uh, and again, you only have one screen, uh, which is which can be really nice. Again, for me personally, I just that's a preference for me as a pilot. Uh, it looks good when you have so many different buttons and different screens, but also it could be more workload on you. But when when you only have one screen to worry about, uh, it's just the the whole process is more simple for you. Okay, so moving on. Uh, actually, while we're here, let me talk about these pedals here as i mentioned earlier if you had an instructor uh, who's training you in this aircraft this would be the pedal that they use when they're sitting and as you can see if you look at the design of the aircraft you've got a tuck here which the foot or the legs will go in and then be able to rest on this uh, pedal here now for the person sitting up front here this is their main pedals and from what i've been told this controls the power so your throttle is this pedal here and then on the left side this pedal controls the brakes so you use this pedal to control the throttle but you also have one for your hands so whichever is more comfortable for you okay moving forward now let's talk about this wing okay now this is one of the the options you will get Standard, it does come with its own wing, but on these things, the wings actually also can add or take away from the performance of the aircraft. So with these wings, if you were to opt for a higher performance one, here at Evolution, they have the Rival S and an X, and if you were to opt for either one of those, uh, you can get better performance out of the aircraft. But it is an option, and speaking of option, another option you get with these things, it is a light sport, like I said, you can get a parachute with it, um, and I believe this is the parachute pull right here which is within reach let me get a good shot of this so for somebody who is sitting either in front or behind you can pretty much reach this then so that's a nice placement for it so this is an option also another option that you get with this aircraft I mentioned earlier these the roll trims you see that and again they're controlled from the cockpit there now let's talk about price. When I th look at this, you know, I, I don't know who is going to buy it, but when I look at this, this is something one that you can use as a fun aircraft, but also you can actually take it places. So with the range on this thing, I didn't talk much about the performance earlier. So with the, with the Rotax 912, for a lot of light sport, you can burn around three to four gallons of fuel per hour. And with this particular aircraft, you can actually go up to 250 miles on a full gas tank. 
Now, the standard tank is about 15 gallons of fuel. You can always opt for more fuel if you want, uh, it's about 17 gallons, but from what Larry told me, uh, most people are just good with the uh, 15 gallons of fuel, which is to me is plenty. Now, when you think, okay, how much does this cost? The entry level, which you get almost everything that you see in front of me is about $85,000. And then the more bells and whistles you add to it, you're looking at closer to $120,000 for this baby okay so this is the review of the revo uh they have other models in the uh, in the factory here if i get a chance i'll definitely uh, review it for you guys i hope you guys enjoy this one if you did please give a thumbs up and let me know if you have any questions i review this aircraft because i'm also curious about them so let me know if you have any questions i'm gonna get somebody here to actually answer them for you all right i hope you enjoyed it if you did give a thumbs up and if this is your first time be sure to hit that subscribe button for me again my name is mike thank you so much for watching and i will catch you guys on the next video